Welcome back, friends. It's Rob again from Explominate here, back with Interstellar Space Genesis. And I had a bit of a hiatus, so I took a vacation. So I'm back again now with some more Interstellar Space goodness. And I missed it. So let's play. All right, well, first things first, let's look to see what we're going to research here. So we could look at something like enhanced targeting algorithms. Plus 80% ship attack. The bonus is replaced, not cumulative by higher level targeting algorithms. That sounds like a good idea. All right, I've got a little cheat sheet made by my good friend Trifler that I'm going to keep an eye on here. All right, so what else can we look at here? So combat jump displacement. Allows ship to jump three times to any location in a combat instance. That also sounds pretty rad. We're going to make sure that happens as well. All right, what's hyperdrive? Oh, look at this. Six parsecs per turn. Now, I knew we had some issues with some of our our speed. Wow, I didn't realize it went all the way this, this far. All right, cool. So, yeah, I think this will be, that'll be where we go. With an 80% ship attack increase, and then we have the jump displacement that'll help me get to my enemies quicker and then we're going to start just crushing the cake here all right so they have two destroyers here a battleship and a cruiser and I have a battleship and a cruiser here and we've learned that my battleships are better my cruisers are better so we'll go ahead and send them that way and I don't see anything else of too much note here. I'm trying to remind myself of where we were and what we need to do. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and reduce my tax. I'm doing very well, plus 33. And that'll increase my research and my space culture. So let's go ahead and hit the next turn button. All right, so we've learned. Do we find anything? You discovered a white dwarf in sector J5. Look at that. I found a white dwarf in sector J5. All right, let's send one of our cruisers there. And then if need be, we have our survey ship, right? Yep, there we are. Support ship's there. And I was told that the reason why WESIF is doing better is because Arbitros is... Infrastructure is not as high. Which is funny because it should have been, right? But I've been using this as like a an industrial kind of mega force here to pop out ships and also make sure that I had a bunch of stuff going on. So infrastructure is only three of seven. So once I've finished refitting this juror, I'm going to go ahead and come back here and, and develop it a little bit more. All right, so let's come up here. Oh, that's something we already did. We'll still do there too. All right, so nothing here really of note, although there's nothing there to hurt me. So we could send the survey ship and it should be okay. And then what we'll do too is we will come down to why not let's take this out i mean it's what we're doing here right the jaguls have declared war on the multar okay so look they're gonna have a little bit of a war here good for me yep all right so Choose combat. Well, I want combat. We're going to take combat. Is it, oh, yeah, that's what we have to do here. All right, yes. They're going first. They also have an orbital station. Does that mean they have weapons there? I hope not. It does. <laughs> it very much does. Move 
move here. Oh, wow, they've really focused on that one, haven't they? Cool, it missed all of them. There we go. Well, we destroyed one. That was a good hit on their shields. Alright, into their armor now too. So let's go ahead and... Took that one out too. Alright. Almost knocked that shield out. Like that actually hit me pretty good. All right, let's end that turn. Destroy that thing. Oh man, still not good. Okay, there we go. All right, let's see if we can move closer and start hitting this thing with everything else we've got. Definitely focused on the, what is this, the cruiser again? I forgot. The battleship, there we go. Let's see if we can get close enough so that we can hit him with more. Looks like we're out of missiles. Is that what's going on? Is that why I can't fire it anymore? Shields are almost down. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see what we're doing. All right, so that's not enough. Let's see what we got. Yeah, we're almost there though. I can't remember the word. <laughs> Whittling. Whittling it down? Why does that not sound right? I don't know. We're doing damage. How about that? Alright, it's disabled, so really it's just a matter of hitting it now. Awesome. Alright, cool. So the Kek have lost their space station in combat. All right, good to go. Select combat. What is attacking this? Automatically declare war on the Sulak existence. Do you wish to proceed? No. I didn't realize that was the case. Ooh, right. Extremely powerful and ancient creatures inhabit this planet. Once tamed, they will prove to be mighty allies in supporting our ground troops. So this is not going to go well for me. So maybe I just bomb them to all hell. Right? I mean, that's what I would do. No, let's move out. We'll close here. Let's, uh... Why can't I bomb them? Confirms that, yes. No further engagements. There we go. All right. We come back here and we bomb them, right? We can do that. We should be able to do that. Why can't we do that? Is it because none of them have bombs? I'd imagine that's probably the case. Possible to explore ruins. Let's go ahead and explore ruins. Team finds vast patterns of strange lines and strange lines encircling the ruins. Their significance is unclear. Deep within the ruins is a vault where aliens attempt to preserve themselves cryogenically, but the machines were wrecked so long ago, not even the corpses remain. Is that all that happened? That was oh come on. Those are usually so exciting. Nothing happened. All right, so what do we have here? 
Nope, that's not where I wanted to go. What do we have here? Oh, that's where we actually just explored. Okay. And with that, let's go ahead and... No, can't do anything? Alright, so we need to make a bomber. Powerful creatures. There we go. Nothing found in ruins. We know that now. Thank you. Support ships. Ready to go at Wasif. And we're going to leave it there too. And then we have Helium 3 there as well. Okay. Alright, so... My hope is to get a bomber then. These guys are coming for me, aren't they? Yeah, good luck. Alright, then we'll come down here. Nope, I should just go to the waste of here. And since they're good with that, the executioner, I can actually build it. Uh, I'm going to do that. 28 turns. It's a long time, but I'm going to do it. I'm excited. All right, with that, let's go to Arbitros, and then, okay, they've got the juror done, so let's come out and actually, we're going to have to do, let's just autogenic cruiser, and then, actually, we shouldn't have done that. All right, let's go ahead and make it a cruiser, and we will add bombs, 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 wait a minute, do I not have any bombs? Okay, hold on a second. That might be my problem. I haven't built any bombs. Do I even have bombs? Is that something that does this game does? Bomb rack. There we go. Yes, we need to do that then. That'll probably go ahead of the jump displacement. All right, there we go. Okay, so I don't have bombs. Good to know. And, yeah, we're going to fight you. No, I don't wish to stand down. I want to fight. I hate that I can't just click on the fleet. Like, I forget that I keep having to, I have to have the click on the, the ship. I'm sorry, the uh, planet. First thing, I prefer to just be able to click on the, the fleet. Or both. That's how you want to roll. that that doesn't look good I don't like it all right you don't get to do that to me bit of overkill there sucks that I don't have bomb racks. I feel like that should be something... I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I haven't played Space Forks in a long time. That's probably it. I just would have thought that I could bomb them. And I, could have I could have sworn that that was something I could have done before. But I guess not. Alright. Whatever. Who cares? I need to do it. So let's make it happen. This isn't even really worth it, is it? No, it's not. Alright, what about... Do I have a anybody? Nope. It would be nice to actually get somebody who I could have pilot one of my ships. What do you want? Oh, that's right. You want the Galactic Navigation Archive. So do you. And I believe you do too, right? Yeah. But I need more points in adventure. But I'm about to get there, so that's cool. Uh, we can attack. We can we can raise this place. Okay, cool. All right.
right, so we took the... All right. Diplomacy action to kick has proven to be a reasonable empire. They propose to discuss the terms of their surrender. Um... No, let me get back to you. I'm not really ready to say no. Or say stop. Diplo action. Oh, okay. I can't just like come back to it like in a couple turns. All right. But I want to... I want to... Okay, so when Empire agrees to surrender, signs a surrender, surrender pack and becomes a subject to its new overlord. Oh. Well, in that case, yes. She will serve and provide for your empire just as her subject serve and provide for her. Alright, cool. So that you're mine now. Alright, so we have a decision here for dark matter. We can an illusion materializer or subspace distortion. The system creates a subspace distortion around the equip ship in combat. This distortion provides it with a temporary barrier of invulnerability. Tachyon drive, seven parts expert turn, jump drives. Or sorry, jump gates allows instantaneous travel between all systems within an own with owned colony. Yes, those are all good things. I want that. And then what about here? Antimatter catalyzed bombs. <laughs> wow, antimatter warheads and antimatter drive. Those are all things that sound great to me. Planet construction can create a planet from asteroid fields. Jeez, that sounds great too. But I want some more weapons, so we're going to take that this time. Bend the knee. Awesome, my gates I got. So the cake has surrendered to us with an empire agrees to surrender. It signs a surrender pack and becomes a subject to its new overlord. Once signed, surrender packs enforce an unbreakable peace between the subject and the overlord for a minimum of 40 turns. They agree to pay their overlord 20% of their income, research, culture, and ship support points each turn. Subjects also agree to provide one source of every strategic resource they have. Wow, both the overlord and the subject to a lesser extent may utilize the let's coordinate our efforts diplomatic options with one another. An overlord can attain a conquest or alliance victory without defeating their subjects as long as all our conditions are met. So once the required number of turns have passed, the overlord or their subject can choose to break the pact. If the overlord voluntarily breaks the pact, they will receive a significant diplomatic bonus. With their former subjects, subjects will only forcibly break a surrender pact if they are furious or annoyed, like, less likely with their overlord. Okay. So, cool, they're mine. <laughs> That's what I heard. That's all I read. They're all mine. Alright, let's not worry about them. Stand down. And then we'll move us out of here. No reason to stay. Alright, so... Rival new settlement report at F8. So now we've got new kick. So I guess they're, are they also something I can like use? No, okay, so they're just, they're basically vassals. That's cool. I can get with that. So that must put me up there now. I, I feel like that's, no, okay. So the Nova Vita, let's, Overall, the Nova Vita are actually a pain in my thorn, a thorn in my side too. So technology were third, fleet were first, culture were fourth, production were one. Somehow that makes oh, wow. Okay, even though we're really close to these guys, somehow we're still third. I feel like we should launch a war against these guys then. Stay here for a second, because it's about to go down. All right, waste has got the executioner. That's gonna take forever. But after these guys are done, maybe we build some more. Some more. Where are the call uh, the uh, marine garrisons? Oh, that's right. They were coming from Omeg. Assault ships. Let's do it. If you're not with me, you're against me. All right, so they're going to finish here. And then we'll just take this one too. 
It's getting a bit cluttered here. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. All right, so definitely these guys need to go away. What do they have? Wow. It's a nice little grouping they have there. But supposedly I'm stronger, so I'm not too worried about them. The Palatians are letting... Who are these guys now? I can't forget. The Sulaks, that's right. They're kind of like encroaching in our territory. I don't think I can do anything about the Palatians just yet. So I'm not even going to worry about them. But I do want to get... I want to mess up the Nova Vita. So that's my plan. Level up. Great. So adventure... Uh, let's do this. So negative 50% turns to assimilate one pop, plus three pops instantly assimilated in every colony. So that means that this one should be good then, right? They're assimilated. They're happy-ish. Wow, why are they doing all that? I don't want them to build a star base. I want them to worry about maybe other stuff. I wonder if I can send my people there. Can I send my people there? Immigration cannot immigrate because they are no other colonies with the species. Immigration not possible because there are no other colonies in the empire with this species that can immigrate here. So I can't immigrate my own people there because I feel like they'd be better off here. But whatever. I should be able to. I should be able to immigrate my own people there. And I'm sure things will get a little bit you know, tense. But I feel like I feel like that's the way it should be. All right. Why do you guys keep coming over here? So the Palatians keep coming over here. I'm not sure why. I and mean, you guys can have that. I don't really care. Let's go ahead and look to see. System scan level for... Oh, okay, that's already been scanned. That has... Sorry, I was thinking about that. And then... Anything else needs to be scanned around me? Nothing I see. What is this here? What, what was built? An assault ship. Okay, good. Because it's about to go down. No Vita. Three cruisers, three destroy two cruisers, three destroyers, one frigate. I feel like a battleship is probably gonna be able to take on all of those. One destroyer, one frigate. Alright, so let's start with here. All right, great. So we've got the 80% ship attack now. And for upgrade, very good. So Toph here can do, let's see, 25% building construction on colony, plus one RP per pop unit to construction research. Plus 125 building production on all colonies. Oh, that's unlocking on all, okay. What should we do with this one? I guess we should probably try to... Well, look, let's see what else we can... Yeah, we need to build some stuff here. For sure. So let's do a deep core and move it here instead. And we'll kind of equalize everything here. 26 turns is a long time. But we're gonna have to wait. Juror cruiser was completed on Omeg. Why would is it? Wait, did I? I must have misread that. On Arbitros is where it was. Okay. So with that, let's go ahead and do what I was talking about. Let's go ahead and move you into this and trade goods and let's pick up your infrastructure level 
Because even now, Omig's better. Wow. It's crazy. All right. No, I don't care. I don't want to fight anybody here. So what we can do is probably just move these out. We'll move you guys over here. All right, choose a new sector. We're going to go ahead and redo that one. And for upgrade, am I already at? Yes, Arbitros is already capable. So... You know what we'll do? We're going to go ahead and plus 20% ship construction on colony. Or plus one ship support screw ship on regular level. Let's do this first and then we'll do the next one so they gain levels. And then, yeah, they've already jumped back up to surpass Omig. Confirm? No, I don't want to do that. I actually just want to come see what... Can I look to see what their infrastructure has done? Okay, I've done this for them. And they're already infrastructure 5 out of 5. How come it's four to seven here? Like, what is it about this planet that's infrastructure capacity five? Is that based on planetary engineering? Like, does, does that give me more infrastructure capabilities? Habitat control? Doesn't say. Planetary engineering projects. Huh. Wonder how, if there's any way to increase my infrastructure cap? Or is that just something that happens with this planet? Ecological level, yep, there we go. Nope, nothing there. Large caves, plus 50% population capacity on planet. But I don't see anything, any way. So let's, all right, whatever. Let me know in the comments if there's some way I can actually increase my infrastructure level. Or, like, max. Select combat. Where am I selecting combat? Oh, I don't want to do that. No. I didn't realize that they had taken something, though. Huh. Oh, that's right. That's right. I, to I totally remember that now. Okay. All right. Is there another? Wait, did I? Yes, there is. There's two more. Three more outposts. Holy crap. And just somebody waiting to be able to build all these. So we could get outpost ships going. We'll need freighters, though, don't we? Freighter fleets, we have two. So if we just built a couple outpost ships real quick, we could take two of those and that'll help. All right, level up, cool. Wow, seriously. Administration plus two tax. Wow, what is with our tax right now? Are we over a ship limit or something? Yes, we are. We're way over it. Okay. I'm going to have to reduce that. So, what is it? We have negative 61 from ships. Negative 28 from seven cruisers. Okay. Plus 25% infrastructure development in all colonies and system. Plus 10 flat RP generation per turn. Plus 3% early breakthrough chance. Let's do that. All right, so Galactic Event. Emperor, I have just received an interesting offer from an independent trader. She claims to know that to have to know how to have access to the schematics for adamantium armor, which is a powerful device that will get, make us invincible, she claims. She's willing to obtain the information to sell us the schematics for what she calls a fair price and give us options. How would you like me to respond? One thing is to have access to a powerful device. The other is to know how to use it effectively. Tell her we can go up until 750 BC, and then we would... We don't care whom else she will be willing to sell this information. 
We'll take that because that's the only thing we can do. And it just made it so we almost have no money. <laughs> oh, crap. I wonder if there's any way to reduce. Let's look here. Is there any way to reduce? Oh, no, that's not where it is. Uh, the, the maintenance cost. All right, so how can I add ship support? I know that I could do that through my infrastructure, which is something we'll have to do next time. Bomb rack, good to go. All right, so do I go ahead and launch a, I think I'm gonna do that. When I come back for the next episode, we're going to war with the Nova Vita. And things are getting a little bit hectic. I'm excited. And then I'll have my first Titan here soon. Well, not super soon, but soon enough, right? We've got... So the outpost ships are done. So we'll send those two over here. Let's do that real quick. And we will, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to come over here and build outpost on asteroid belt. Yep, and then we will exploit, we're gonna exploit research once and then we're gonna go ahead and do the other one with BC. So we'll take that and then we'll exploit Trade plus 10 BC on Empire. All right, so just to get some money back. And that should be putting us in a pretty good spot. All right, so displacement good. We'll have to take the. Oh, infrared infra upgrade. Very good. So we'll take this plus one su ship support. It's only plus one? Yeah, <laughs> wow, it's only plus one. It really is. All right. All right. So, has inquire acquired the envious trait. All right. Well, that's probably not a good thing. All right. We're good here. New settlement. Looks like they're expanding. I'm not a big fan of that. Choose a new sector to explore remotely. We'll do that one, and we'll come over here as well. Diplomacy request pending. The Maltar Union want to exchange technology with us. So you see, extra so smart. You will, will you teach us atmospheric bio agents for a neutron beam? Hmm. I actually don't think that's a very good idea. Would you give us? I could give you freighter port or galactic amusement. Plus ten percent morale. Plus three percent three BC per pop colony. So, yeah, let's, let's do that instead. And what I realize now, too, is that I don't know if anybody still actually wants it. That by 153. So who's going to be most upset? So if I don't get it for him, that's going to be a bad thing. And how long do I have? Uh, it doesn't say opinion doubled if it's by 153 but it doesn't say when huh I definitely want to keep waste of happy so they would be the ones that I'd want to give that to but I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that okay I need to actually unlock another space culture perk I thought I'd done three though strangely enough I hmm I didn't mean to do that. So spiritual leader plus 10% morale or yes, there we go. I'd like that, but space culture, which one are you? There we are. That is three, one, two, three. I took three. Hmm. There we go. Okay. We can do it. All right. 
But it looks like I can't do it there because I don't have any more space there. Which is no bueno. So who else can I make happy here? I'm gonna probably want to make him happy then. At Arbitros. So let's go ahead and do the Galactic Nav here. And we'll come back to working on my infrastructure next afterwards. All right, so research. All right, what's next? Since I have the opportunity to ask you guys before I move on to my next episode, because I won't be able to do another episode till a few days from now. Go ahead and tell me what I should do next. What should I be looking at? I mean, where where should my alien habitat module? So plus one relations civilian quarters, plus one, or sorry, point five science. Sorry, space culture. Colony must have an orbital station for the bonus to have an effect. Quantum Singularity access, 200% research from black holes. I don't think I have any black holes. What would you guys suggest I do? Enhance logistics? Is there anything I can do to actually increase? So enhance logistics sounds like it would be something, but no. Galactic knowledge, medical isotopes. I wonder if there's anything that'll help me increase my support ship units. Marine pods. Battle station. That does. Plus four ship support points to Empire. So maybe we do that for now. Yeah, okay, cool. So, yeah, the next turn, or sorry, the next episode, we will absolutely be attacking the Nova Vita in hopes of crushing them my fleet's number one so I just feel like I could probably take them out I mean it's just the three of us now that are kind of climbing up so if I take down the Nova Vita and it's really just me and the Platians and that's a good spot that's a good place to be in so hey guys thanks for watching let me know if there's anything I haven't really had a chance to do anything regarding your ship Spreadsheet, Trifler, sorry. Hi, Trifler, thanks for watching. But I think what I'll be doing is utilizing maybe some of those ideas with the next episodes as we make our way towards the Nova Vita. We crush them. Crush them good. Then maybe, hopefully, they'll surrender to us. And then we'll have two of the races under our heel. But until then, thanks for watching, guys. This is a lot of fun. I really enjoy this game. So keep on coming back if you want to. You should. <laughs> All right. Until next time, this is Rob from Exploring. Keep exploring.